Today's presentation will focus on the differences of mechanical rock balances used in the science lab. Mechanical because they are operated manually, and rock because the smallest quantity that could be weighed is not less than 0.01 gram. Laboratory balances encompass precise weighing instruments used to measure all kinds of samples in a laboratory environment. At CEO Makati Science Laboratories, there are different kinds of rock balances used in laboratory activities. Single beam balance. This is the modern version of the ancient Egyptian scales. This type of laboratory scale incorporates two pans on opposite sides of a lever. It can be used in two different ways. The object to be weighed can be placed on one side and the other standard weights are added to the other pan until the pans are balanced. The sum of the standard weights equals the mass of the object. Another application for the scale is to place two items on each scale and adjust one side until both pans are level. This is convenient in applications such as balancing tubes or centrifugation where two objects must be the exact same weight. The double beam balance. To use this kind of scale just like the single beam balance, place the object you intend to weigh on one of the pans. Then place the items of no weight such as standard weights on the other. When the two pans are as balanced as you can get them, the weight of the unknown object is equal to the sum of the standard weights. The triple beam balance. Triple beam balances are so named because they include three decades of weights that typically measure mass in terms of hundreds of grams, tens of grams, and single grams. Start with the heaviest decade and work your way down until the object you hope to weigh is balanced. Then add up the numbers indicated in the decades to get your mass. The triple beam balance has three beams and does only one pan. Four beam or centrogram balance. It is the same with the triple beam balance, but instead of three beams, it contains four beams with the smallest readability of 0.01 gram. The following are the different parts but common to the four types of mechanical balances. The pad. This is where watch glasses or other suitable vessels are placed to receive the substance to be weighed and or the weights. There are two pads in single and double beam balances, while in triple and four beam balances some single pad. The pointer. The balance pointer marks the equal point of the object's mass on the scale and mass on the beam. It is used to indicate the correct mass of an object if it's level with the rider. The riders. These are the sliding pointers placed on top of the balance beams to indicate the mass in grams on the pan and beam. It is used to set the specific weight needed. The number and the weight of the riders are different depending on the rock balance. The riders beam. It holds the riders sets the level of precision and is labeled with number increments by hundreds, tens, and ones. The adjustment knobs. It is used to manually adjust the rock balance to the zero mark and the adjustment knob can be used to adjust the pointer. Extended weights. These are usually utilized on the triple beam balance to increase its weighing capacity. The standard weights. These are weights usually placed in other pan of a double pan balance as a reference weight of a sample. It is utilized on single and double beam balances. When operating the balance, keep in mind the following reminders. Place the balance on a level and sturdy surface. Position it on a firm bench away from vibration and current of air. Ensure that the pointer is at a zero level. Inspect the balance before using it. If there's any malfunction, do not try to fix it by yourself. Report it to your laboratory instructor or personnel immediately. The items to be measured should be at room temperature before weighing. A hot item will give a reading less than the actual weight due to convection currents that make the item more buoyant. Use weighing vessels when measuring samples. Never put the chemicals directly on the balance pan. 
Another important part of using a balance is cleaning. Laboratory scales are exposed to many chemicals that can react with the metal in the pan and corrode the surface. This will affect the accuracy of the scale. Avoid spills during weighing activity. Do not overload the balance. Weigh samples only within its capacity. When moving the balance, place your hands on either side of the base for stability. Use a tissue to remove any chemical, which may have been split on the balance. After working with the balances, place the riders at the resting position.